Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and in this mini Unity tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can display text from an input field in just a normal text box. Don't forget, click the subscribe button and click the bell icon as well to stay up to date with every tutorial I upload to this channel. And with that in mind, let's get to work. So let's say your game has a little input field where you can say put your name in and then that name is put into text boxes, you know, wherever else in the game. It's a lot easier than what you would think and I think a lot of people get confused with the input field and how to do it via C sharp. So let's get to it. So if we go to game object and let's go to UI and you'll see down here we have something called input field and I'll put it inside your canvas with a couple of different options. The one we're going to deal with mainly is text. This is the one where we get to actually have whatever we enter say our name or whatever. Uh, next one I'm going to do is I'm going to add in uh, some just normal text that we can bring in. So if I double click this, uh, I'm going to remove the post processing so we can see it a bit better in our scene. Uh, let's just quickly have it white because you guys already know with what your text looks like. So I'm just kind of putting a temporary one in here uh, just so we can see it working. So I'm going to have that text say nothing right now, but have it centered. And I'm obviously going to have a button in there as well, because I'll explain why you don't want to do it one way where it constantly updates. I'll explain that when we get to the coding. Uh, so if we have a button and that button just says, I don't know, enter. So that button will be, we press it when we have our name. So the way we do this is make sure you do have that input field and just make sure you know where to reference your text uh, when you actually build your script. So in your asset window, right click, create and C sharp script. We'll call this name transfer and open it up in Visual Studio. So there's a couple of things we need to do in this script. It's not complicated. It's just a couple of lines of code. Uh, so obviously we need to create some code for the button as well. So that'll be its own uh, method inside the script. A uh, couple of variables, obviously one variable would be the text box. The other variable would be the uh, text that we're taking it to. And we'll also have a string as a variable as well. So we can store any information uh, in that string whether it be for this scene or whether it be for any other scene. Uh, but as I say, I'll explain that as and when we get there. A uh, quick note about the scene that I'm in at the moment. It's just a quick little scene from the asset store. Uh, Polygon Desert, I think it's called. Check it out. It is quite a nice scene. Okay, so we're in C -sharp, uh, Visual Studio to write some C Sharp. At the very top, we'll need to put in a namespace, which is using unity engine.ui semicolon because we'll be dealing with UI elements. And what we'll need to do is we'll need to declare a couple of variables and let's get rid of void update and void start. They can disappear. Uh, so the first variable, so public, and this will be a string. S is in a lowercase because it's just the way it's defined here. Uh, let's call it the name. So this is the name you're entering. Uh, the next one is going to be public game object. And this one will be the, uh, in fact, we'll call it input field. So this will be where we're typing our name in this case. And the final one will be the text. So whatever you have as your output, where you want to display uh, whatever you're putting in the input field, this will be that game object. So game object and we'll put uh, text display semicolon. So the idea of what we're doing here is when we press uh, the button to say enter, this is what we're going to do with it. So it's going to have to be a public void because it is a button and we'll say store name, I guess. It, it doesn't really matter too much what we call it. You can call this method anything at all. So what we need to do is have the name equals, and it is input field. If I actually put it right, input field dot get component in spiky brackets, text, open close bracket dot text, semicolon. And then to display it, we have text display 
dot get component and in spiky brackets text dot text equals welcome or whatever your text would be then plus the name plus to the game or whatever your text would say semicolon so the idea of what we're doing here we're taking whatever our text box should say and we're closing out the first little bit and closing out the second little bit and in between we're putting plus and then this string and then plus the rest of the text so if i save that script now and then head back into unity i just tap my desk there for some reason uh, let it compile and there we go so we need to attach this to a game object so i'm just going to create a quick random empty game object and just attach it to there then we just need to define a couple of variables so the input field itself is not the main input field it's actually the text object which is within the input field so just make sure you get that bit right that bit is i think what confuses most people so obviously text display is wherever you want your name to appear uh, after that what we need to do is sort the button out so on the button click on plus uh, bring a game object over if you don't not sure how to use the button i do have other uh, tutorials on it i'm just kind of going through this pretty quick uh, so i'm just setting my button to run that method of store name uh, so all it really is is just a way of the button says yep do what you need to so if we press play now and go to our scene everything's so good so far and i'm going to put jimmy in there enter there we go welcome jimmy to the game can't quite see that so well so i'm just gonna bring it maybe across a little bit so we can see there we go welcome jimmy to the game so if i change that to bob there we go so this input field you can put anything in and because of the way we've got the script set up it will take it and place it wherever you want it to be so that is how we can use an input field to enter a name a place anything you want and then display it in text right there that is the line of code you need more than anything to do it so guys i hope that's helped and yeah thank you very much for watching